Southern Vermont man is expected in court tomorrow. He's accused of shooting a, and killing a woman and her son. 54 year old Christopher Ellis is behind bars tonight. He was arrested Saturday. NBC 5 Sid Buley is live now with new details from state police about the investigation. Sid. Jack Ellis, Vermont State Police are telling us that they believe Ellis had known one of the victims for decades. Now he was also living with both of the victims since around April this year, but they still are not sure what exactly is the motivation behind the double homicide. Police tell us 52 year old Michael Garvin and his mom, 79 year old Lucy Garvin, lived in a home together off Route 8A in Whitingham. Detectives tell us the Garvins were found dead just after 10 o'clock Friday night. We received a 911 call for a report of a deceased man and woman. Police say a relative made the call after stopping by the house when they were unable to reach the victims by phone. Both victims had gunshots to them. Down this private driveway, out of sight of our news camera, Vermont State Police spent Saturday processing the scene after discovering Michael Garvin's truck missing from the driveway. That truck was missing, and it was suspected that Ellis may be in that truck, so a BOL was put out for that truck. Brattleboro Police spotted it and arrested 54-year-old Christopher Ellis early Saturday morning. Ellis was later charged and held without bail. Ellis now faces two charges of first degree murder and a charge of operating a vehicle without the owner's consent. Police say Ellis and Michael Garvin had a long history. I just think they've known each other for several decades, uh, was our understanding. And Ellis was living with the Garvins at the time. It was understood by us uh, that Ellis had been staying temporarily with them since approximately April. Authorities say there is no threat to the public, but if anyone has information, they should come forward. Certainly there's always other people out there that have some information that may be pertinent to the case, and we would welcome those people to call. Uh, the state police, probably out of Westminster, is the place to call. Now, Ellis is expected to be arraigned on all three charges tomorrow afternoon in Brattleboro. We'll update you as we learn more. Live in Williston, Sid Buley, NBC5 News.